Oceans and rivers are a playground for several recreational activities, but they're also homes to bacteria. A local group is making it easier for the public to check water safety. WNCT's Nikki Crosswaite explains how. While many are looking forward to getting out onto the water this summer, they're not thinking about the bacteria in the water. Local organization Sound Rivers is now launching a new program that allows citizens to test water quality in our area. Sound Rivers will be working with volunteers to collect and analyze water samples from popular areas in the Noose and Tar Pamlico Rivers. It's a great way for people to get kind of directly connected to their waterway and you know help contribute to uh, science, you know, showing us where pollution is coming from. Volunteers will go through training to collect samples once a week throughout the summer. Once samples are collected in sterile jars, they are then transported to labs for processing. The samples will be tested for levels of E. coli and enterococci. Fecal bacteria is kind of a common problem when you've got uh, pollution upstream from you know cities or agricultural sources, uh, and that's something that makes water a little less safe for recreation, like swimming and boating and fishing. Um, you know, it has the capacity to get people sick. The results are then uploaded to Sound River's website in a smartphone app called the Swim Guide. The app allows the public to check water conditions on a frequent basis. Well, I think this will both let people be more safe, have better information about when it's safe to be in and on the water. The app also shows water qualities at over 7,000 beaches in the U.S. If you want to volunteer as a citizen scientist, you can contact your local river keeper. In Washington, Nikki Crossway, 9 on your side.